Boom. All right. So here we are. Back again. Back again. Episode two. Blockheads. Oh, cool. Blockheads. I like the name. I like, the name. I like it. I think you'll like it too. <laughs> yeah, I think it's a good. Point. I hope you all like the name. Yeah, it's not like comics podcast. <laughs> Right. We said we'd get better stuff and shit as we went on, but yeah. actually, we were lying. It got worse this time. <laughs> yeah, it really did. We had to change mics this time, so I hope this sounds a lot better. Uh, I think it will be. Yeah. I mean, it is an upgrade in some ways, but yeah, yeah. kind of looked out there. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, thanks, babe, if you listen to this eventually. Yeah, thanks, Brian's girlfriend. For thanks. hiding shit on me. <laughs> yeah, sneaking shit. All right, so we got Brian Nowkowski here and uh, Scuzz McKinley. I was thinking of some nicknames. Nickname? You got a nickname now? Who you got? Uh, well, I think the only nickname I ever really got from people outside of Noel Kowski was Bam Bam. So. Bam Bam. So. I like Bam Bam. <laughs> Action Bronson used that. You use that too. Oh, yeah? We should make a vote. We'll put it on the, uh, like, oh. your, you got any more? Uh, yeah. These other nicknames are like Brian Nose. We got Brian like Nose, Bam Bam. Bino. Bino. Uh, fuck, I had some more too, but. We got our, we'll Dick Face McGee. Dick Face McGee. That's probably going to win. It's probably going to win. All right, so what you guys are going to do, you guys are going to go on uh, my and Brian's Facebook, and we're going to post the status saying which game do you think Brian should have, and you guys got to vote for it. All right. I think I know what's going to happen. I think I'm not Dick, psychic, but... What was it? Dickhead McGee? <laughs> Dick Face McGee. Dick Face McGee is definitely going to win. All right, so uh, right. what you been reading this week? What you got? Oh, uh, well, I got a few things this week. Let's yes. see. Um, let's see. Let's see here. Two books I didn't touch on last week. The first one being Profit. I think we did mention yeah. a little bit when we were talking about um, last week. We were talking about Walrus yeah. from Brandon Graham, who I'm a big fan of and Fawn's worked for a while. Uh, I think Profit's kind of like what would you say? This is like his jump off book. Man, yeah, this is the book that started it. You know, like I think he was getting that popularity with King City, like you know, st- steady kind of growing. But mm-hmm. Profit, man, that shit blew him underground out of the hero. fucking water. Yeah, underground hero. Man. I mean, that book's so awesome. I mean, it's like, it's what you want in a monthly, you know? Like, it's, each each issue doesn't feel like it's in a series. It feels like it's one, like, single story with each issue, like... Yeah, I agree. It's, it is, does, each issue feels self-contained yeah. and, like, has its own little cool story. Sometimes I'm like, wow, where does this fucking pick up? Mm-hmm. Like, an overall story? I'm like, I don't know what the fuck's yeah. going on anymore. But I do. I just need a refresher after getting to the story. Like, who fucks are these prophets here? Yeah, it was like, mother prophet, father prophet. For those who don't know, this is based on old Rob Liefeld. Kind of like, I think that's how you say his last name. I'm going to go with it. I like the... Uh, <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Scott's over here is a big fan of Liefeld. So, I like, uh, I like Liefeld, so... A little we'll have a poll about that too later. <laughs> maybe, <laughs> maybe next time. <laughs> oh god! You don't have to defend him, at least not yet. Or, yeah. uh, maybe, maybe later. Yeah. But yeah, it used to be a live book, and I had like a secret admiration for it back in the day. Of, like, holy shit, Prophet might be the most ridiculous fucking book from the image <laughs> era. I clearly remember it as a child being the most ridiculous fucking book out there, and like <laughs> this guy is ridiculously jacked. He's wearing like a Rob Liefeld like headpiece. Yeah. Which Graham actually uses to be something cool in this. It's yeah. probably it's the same fucking thing in the book, but. uh uh, just to put out there, I didn't actually read any of the profit from Life Home. <laughs> I was uh, actually but it doesn't really matter. I mean, this is the basic general knowledge story or the same as far as I can tell. Yeah. But yeah, just read Graham's Profit. It's way better. It's like the oh, hard sci fi book I've always wanted to be like in a you know, mainstream comic book. I still yeah. say Image is mainstream. Yeah, yeah. Totally. You know, Image is doing like the best shit. They're, like, they're my favorite publisher right now, I'd say. Really good. They're putting out a lot of good shit, which yeah. uh, actually segues nicely to my next thing. But nice. um, give some more time to Profit first. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, no, you know, it's funny because like, uh, stuff from Profit, like he'll bring up characters like Die Hard or Bad Rock or Supreme, like yeah. characters that are in like other image series from that time just kind of pop in and fit, weave the story in interesting ways. Yeah. And just cool, hard sci-fi, I would say almost Euro-esque. Um, you said you met the, um, I never met Graham, but you said you met the artist, yeah. the, or one of the artists, one of the many awesome artists that work on this book. Yeah. Feral, uh, Dalrymple. He is, he did issue, I think... Um, like 28, I think, or 24, maybe. But he did, he's only done like one issue, but it was fucking, or maybe he's done two, actually. Yeah, he's done two. He's mm-hmm. the one, he's the one, he's the one with the long tail. <laughs> yeah, like, he's such a fucking awesome artist. He does weird shit, like, with his composition and just the way he tells stories and he draws characters. Like, they look so weird, but so cool. Um, looks like he's not from planet Earth. <laughs> yeah, like, he really looks like a fucking, like, alien <laughs> thing, not. like. 
I like like the chrome dome like eye, eyebrow that he gave Prophet. Like Prophet kind of looks like Conan. Prophet looks like a chromag to me. Like, yeah, like a fucking chromag. Like, looks like a caveman spaceman, which is with an axe. With an axe, it's, it's fucking so cool. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, Prophet yeah. is kind of like Conan in outer space. Like he yeah. goes around, some shits happening, but you don't really know exactly what's happening. Yeah. You enjoy the story. Like and, I've been uh, confused like the last like ten years. <laughs> like, no I know what's going on now. Here. Like what's going on, but I like it. Yeah, no, it's good stuff. Yeah. I mean, everyone should be profit. Go to your local comic book shop. Yep. Perhaps even Cyborg 1. Perhaps Cyborg 1 and Dolls Town. I felt like I didn't rep it enough next time in a retrospect looking at the uh, last podcast. So I'll just say Cyborg 1 is the shit, and y'all yeah. should check it out if you were ever in the Bucks County area. Yeah, man. I don't mean. But yes, when I was talking about segue into my next book, also from Image, last I checked. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, man. Shit changes all the time in yeah. comic books. You can't be a too sure. Yeah. I don't know what's happening from one week to the next. <laughs> anyway, um, Fatale by Ed Brubaker. Nice. Yeah, and, uh, yeah, Ed Brubaker is the man when he is doing his own stuff. He was doing um, some stuff off, like, Criminal and... Uh, he did Cap? No, he yeah, he's done Cap. He's done, like, a bunch of mainstream work. But mm-hmm. I guess I wanted to talk about his more, like... I think his independent work is really him. Like, that's him. Like, yeah. you can tell he loves that shit. Like, it bleeds into his Marvel work. Like, Cap, obviously, is the book he worked on the most, I'd yeah. say, at Marvel. Or is the most memorable one he's done at Marvel, but um, yeah, no, like Criminal is the shit. Everyone should read Criminal. Um, and then Fatal, I think it's just kind of spinning out. Like Fatal is like kind of the next step of his like personal likes, if you will. Nice. Like uh, it's like some love crap shit, and like basically it's about this uh, woman. I'm not going to give anyone names here. I'll just give you the very general story yeah. here. <laughs> about this chick who uh, basically got mixed up with some HP Lovecraft type weirdo cult. And it goes back, like, eons ago. Or not eons ago, but, you know. Yeah, like, like the past. The past. The past. Hundreds <laughs> of years, if that helps. Hundreds of years. And uh, just kind of chronicles her, like, various stories throughout history. Yeah. Most of it kind of takes place in, like, you know, the 1900s, because that works towards kind of the, again, the kind of pulpy style that Brubaker usually goes for in his work that he clearly loves so much. Yeah. And, um... Yeah, no, it's just really rad. It's like, it's got the pulp stuff he's always really good at. Um, let's see, pulp stuff. And the H.P. Lovecraft stuff, too, is in there. Like, just with the kind of weird horror stuff. And yeah. It's just like, no, it's just good horror writing is in there, too. And, yeah, just the art's fantastic. Like, everything about it's good. And super solid. It never, like, it never slacks, I'd say. Like, you know, maybe some issues are more excited than others, but it's yeah. just the climax, so... Keeps going upset going story, on. but no, it's always solid. Uh, sometimes he has a little one else, but usually it's just kind of a continual, continuing story. Yeah, I think it was originally supposed to be a shorter, like, mini series, but okay. just kept expanding and expanding. Nice. By the way, um, Brubaker, and if you buy the single issues of Fatal, all pretty much all Brubaker's independent shit, um, he has like a letters page that is awesome. He has like a backup writer, each issue, like, nice. has like a little, like, short essay in it about certain horror writers, usually for Fatal or whatever book he's working on. Um, so you get some like from all the quote. Yeah, it's like, it's a nice, like, dessert after you finish the meal. It's not like Watchmen where you're like, oh, fuck. Yeah. Here's, like, a ton of text. It's a fucking <laughs> newspaper article <laughs> to read. Uh, uh, have you ever Jeez. finished the Watchmen shit? No, I, I, every like, time I try, I try. I, try. I go, like, like I'm going to read Watchmen yeah. for real this time. Like, I'm going to read all that shit. You read everything. <laughs> And every every Doesn't time work. I start it, dude, it's just so boring. Like, and there's words, like words. words. words, words fucking like picture. Yeah, I'm like, I need help. Where's Dave Gibbons? <laughs> I don't want to read. I want to read Dave Gibbons. <laughs> I mean, I don't want to do words. <laughs> I don't know all these words. But yeah, yeah. Um, no, the essays are nice. Brubaker's are about two to three pages, and it's not bad. Yeah, and Brubaker has like a little to chat with the audience. Some occasionally little pa- letter page, but usually not. Okay. And yeah, no, it's I think that stuff is not in the trade paperback. So if you want to be a real dude, yeah. you'll get the single issues, nice. which are better anyway, because I need that comic fix every Wednesday. Like, yeah. I can't fucking live on trades. It's, it's not doable. Me right now, dude. Like, I haven't been able to go every Wednesday and pick yeah, up sucks. something like Such, right? it. Sucks, right? You get the itch. You're just like, oh, God. It's right now. I thought that was the meth, but all right. No, no, no. That's not. <laughs> I got some other stuff, but yeah, you want to go over what actual comic comics you're doing, or um, you want me to finish my shit? Um, no, yeah, finish it off, man. All right, all right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, two more. Good. Like Let's see. <laughs> two more. Uh, Slam Dunk. I, I, did I talk about Inoue last week? No, we did not. All right. No Inoue, which is surprising because I'm really? like, next to like Paul Pope, it might have been the guy I like go crazy about. Like, you got me in the Fucking go nuts on Inoue. If anyone doesn't know, it's Takahiko Inoue. Yeah. 
Yeah. I'll look him up. Google Vagabond. It. I don't know if you know how to spell it, but just try it. Yeah. Look up Vagabond, real uh, slam dunk. Slam dunk's really fucking popular all around the world. Dude, it looks Brazil, so it's awesome. Copies. You bro. know, it's real popular in Brazil. Do you know that? Are you serious? Yeah, man. Why Brazil? Brazil? Like, I don't know. They're very <laughs> cultured. <laughs> yeah, man. They like the basketball. But yeah, yeah, this dude is a basketball nut. And he's just, I don't know, he's like kind of like a genius, like yeah. master or sensei, whatever you want to call it. Like he's like top level, he's top tier. Godfather. Yeah, he's Godfather. <laughs> Like Tesco level shit. Like yeah. he's on it. Like, um, I don't know if anyone like any modern guy that compares to him except maybe guy who does One Piece. Maybe yeah, he's pretty fucking good. But he's like kind of the opposite end of the spectrum. Yeah, like he, like you know, he does like he puts like some soul into that. Like his you pacing. Feel it. <laughs> yeah, like he really makes you feel emotionally attached to whatever you're reading of his. Mm-hmm. Like, it's got real weight to it. Like you actually yeah. give a shit what's going on. Um, I'm gonna use this to counterpoint the next book I'm talking about, but yeah, in a way, like he's got soul. He's got soul coming out of the ass. Like, yeah, man. he's like the RZA. It's the bowl of soul. Yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah, no, it's basically a, it, at first it seems like a typical like shonen. Like I'm gonna play basketball and be the best basketball player, and yeah. it kind of is, but it's still fucking awesome. It's probably one of the better shonen books out there. And uh, it, early on, and this is for the American version, like, they have, like, a little backup overtime section, like, how to play basketball. I was like, okay. man, this book already made me want to play basketball. <laughs> now it's going to be some actual tips. It's great. <laughs> tips? <laughs> it gives you tips to play like basketball in the first eight issues or Are something. Are you serious? Yeah, I'm not. I'm serious. Like, work on your jump shot? Like, yeah, it's like, your jump shot, like, and, like, here's a modern starter or, like, what? here he does a rebound or something. Oh, God. Damn. Or, like, here's Steve Nash, like, here's how to be a point guard or pass. Like, here's the importance of passing. Yeah, they get, like, some real NBA oh, NBA player in the back. Really? To like, and re- like relate to whatever was important to that volume. Like, here's passing or like, here's rebounding. Yeah, and they'll, like, spotlight some NBA player there. Yeah. And they'll do it up. Damn. Right? Um, that's that would that's pretty fucking cool. They just the added basketball. that. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm telling. laughs> and they'll, like, read the book. Like, I think any kind of book is, like, that's really good will make you want to do something related to yeah. it. Yeah. Like, Jack Curry book will make you want to start drawing Curry Crackle or oh, fucked yeah. up wall face looking people. Yeah. Or monsters. We're fucking f- like four digits to every finger. Yeah, and we're not allowed to have five fingers. <laughs> it's not ass hands. <laughs> big, big fucking hands. Yeah. But yeah, no. Um. So yeah, basketball book. Awesome. Um. I guess that was his first like book he rated big. Like yeah, that's the first still one really one fucking off. popular in Japan. It got it really took off. I think it's almost done actually in America. I think it's only thirty two volumes. Twenty nine came out this week. Hmm. It's wrapping up. Damn. Um. It's not how you think. Like. In a way, it doesn't go do conventional shit. Like, yeah. you think you know where the plot's going, you really don't. Like, he it's is really good at that. Like, he is an excellent storyteller. Like, I think everyone who does comic books has to have, it's a general, like, even artists, like, has to have a general knack for storytelling. Mm-hmm. Even if it's just presenting shit on the page, maybe not so much words, but, like, he's he's got both. It's like... Composition. His competition, yeah, composition. Yeah, composition. out of control. <laughs> yeah, it is. Like, it, he really knows how to drag your eye. And tell it where to go, which is something I don't think a lot of artists do these days. Like, yeah, no. I, 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 whenever I draw, that's like the first thing. Like, how can I like best move the iron page? Yeah. Like, eh, like comics one one. Like, you got to move the fucking iron. Yeah. With even without panels, like you should be able to read what's on the page yep. without having any word balloons on. I have no words. Yeah, fuck words. This shit's overrated. No, anyway. man, look at that bubble it's out like there. watching me all over again. Like, I'm more shut up. Just let the dude install. Yeah, man. It's like, dude, move his <laughs> kill, kill fucking... some of these damn words. <laughs> <laughs> I'm suffocating. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, everyone should read Slam Dunk. It's uh, it's out there. You know, go it's, find it. Buy it if you can. It's kind of hard. This is actually the second time it's been printed in America. The first time was like Raiju Comics. Now it's what um, the fuck? Yeah, it's some bullshit imprint that like doesn't exist anymore. Yeah. So it got printed again. That's how popular it was. It made some random company bought it first. Viz. They failed, and now it's uh, Viz because like Viz is the only basically the only guys who publish. Manga, manga right manga. now outside of Dark Horse. And uh, Drawn Quarterly and Fanographics have been doing those like alternative mangas. That's, that's true. Like, really that's true. Like, um, we'll talk about that more another time because I think that's important to talk about those yeah. books too. Oh, yeah. Like Abandoned the Old Tokyo oh, and that kind of good. shit. Stuff that will rip your heart out. Like, it's like uh, it's just like American comic books. Yeah. It's Japanese. It's fucking really depressing. Yeah, really depressing. <laughs> in black and white. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'll go know what I got this week. Oh, wait, hold on. One what more thing. I, done? Okay. I got another manga. I'll kind of keep it oh. brief here. I got Bakuman, or Bakuman. Bakuman! Uh, I just like saying stupid shit. Yeah. But, um, let's see. Bakuman, uh, you know, it's a comic. I, it, it really, it should have been, like, the perfect comic. Like, I... <laughs> I've Every comic book artist lot. should fucking like love this book to death. Yeah. It's like it's a manga about making manga. What's not to like, right? It's fucking awesome. Like, and I got really hyped off the book. Like yeah. every time I read 
uh, Bakuman was like, I'm gonna go fucking draw like a comic right, right now, like, mm. I'm gonna drop everything. But, um, nah, like, basically, as it went on, it just it felt like a fucking stupid show and anime sucking. stuff. It sucks dick right now. Like, oh. actually, fortunately, this is the last <laughs> issue. It's only 20 volumes. Oh, that's good. But, like, goddamn, that story really, like, talk about missed potential. Like, they kept introducing all these, it's like all my least favorite anime bullshit, like, yeah. keeps coming up. Like, they, you know what the funny thing is? They talk about it in the manga. It's like, oh, we gotta, we can't let the manga go on forever. <laughs> but the publishers want to keep it going, so we have to introduce more characters and stupid shit. And that's what they start doing. And that's what that. they start doing in the fucking book. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, the book gets close to the climax a yeah. bunch of times, and it just, like, rewinds it or, like, starts over. And they get into a bunch of stupid fucking side stories that have nothing to do with the main plot, and just drags and drags. And it's like the book gets to about volume nine or ten, even, I'd say. Like, half the book's bullshit. Jeez. And then, like, by the time you get to the last volume, like, me today, reading this last shitty thing, it's just like, fuck, man, this, this blows. Like, I'm like, all right, I was, just, I was just reading it. too? The other thing is just, it's, it's what's expected. Like, there's nothing, it's so straightforward, it hurts my brain to think oh, about. Man. And it's some dumb shit about, like, oh, the, the, the highlight, the highlight of the conflict is, like, will my, will my girlfriend become the voice actor? Like, what? that's the final conflict. Like, oh, and there's, like, here's the evil voice actor. And then she just wants evil voice actors at the last second. What? Do like keep... This shit interests me, I guess. <laughs> but it's really fucking dumb. And, uh, I don't know, maybe I'm too old for this shit. Like, I thought, it, you know, any good book should be all ages. I, would yeah. know. I mean, in a way, it is a shonen book. I think it's getting anime and all that now. But, yeah, yeah that book sucks. <laughs> and it has no soul, like I was talking about Inoue, and, uh, it's like, the plot, nice. like, I also, like, I was talking about Inoue, is very straightforward and fucking, like, painful to read. I, don't, I think I finished it because I was in too deep. Yeah. And I was reading it with Karen, and Karen, we came to the same conclusion, like, this book blows now, like, I'm sick of this shit, like, they keep oh, introducing man. dumb characters I don't care about. Yeah, like, I've and heard that like, from, uh, like, a lot of people, like, a lot of people <laughs> were like, man, this started off so great, really? and then it just sucks. Yep, it really yeah. sucks. Um, so, if you want to read it, I still, like, kind of recommend it, it's yeah. not totally terrible, and I'm sure it's better than a lot of other books out there, but, oh, jeez, man. <laughs> Uh, just read like the first nine or read it until you stop liking it and then stop. <laughs> like, go to like one of the manga reader.coms or something. Yeah, sure. I'm going to get arrested. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. yeah. I didn't say that. <laughs> go buy it. Go buy that shit on go buy somewhere. <laughs> all right, that's it. I'm done. That's it for my comic book craft this week. So, nice. all right, you can take the stage now. Yeah, all right. You got a heap of helping the books here. I got, a, I got a good heap in here. I've, uh, I wanted to talk about Charles Burns' new series, The Hive and uh, X Style. Is that X Style or is it Cross Style? It's uh, X Style. Uh, that would be dope if it's called cross <laughs> We should still hardcore or something. There. I think so. That, that yeah. sounds like a that sounds like a good hardcore name too. But um, it's basically started like out of nowhere. It's kind of like Charles Burns, I guess, wanting to do like his own kind of weird version of like Tintin in a David Lynch film because it's like it's between two parallel worlds where like. In one world, he looks like Tintin. And in the real world, he looks like normal white American kid in the suburbs. That's that's definitely what I was going to say. Just read your pages through the book here. I was like, this fucker looks like Tintin. What's going on yeah, here? Like, I, <laughs> Sorry, like, go on. I wish the whole thing was like that. I wish the whole thing was just drawn with so Tintin. bizarre, like, ass Tintin. <laughs> yeah, like, which it kind of does. Like, it switches back to it a lot. But, like, the first one, X Doubts, is, like, awesome. Like, it, like... It comes out, like, you read it, and it's, like, good, weird, weird as shit, Charles Burns. Like, it's all drawn in color for the first time, and yeah. he's kind of, like, toned no, down his, like, feathering and stuff a lot, but he's gotten, like, a lot, like, smarter with it, I guess. Like, more well-placed. He probably did it in terms of uh, doing it for color, I guess. Yeah, The yeah. intention to do it in color means he had to tone down the feathering, because yeah. since it wasn't black and white, he couldn't make it as strong. Yeah, definitely. He had to, he, you know, let the colors do some work, too. Mm -hmm. But, like... He does like a lot more like texture, like in these hills, of like dirt and like like ruins and stuff, and it's just great. Like it, it's really cool introduction. And then you realize like, cool, I just got through this book that doesn't really make that much sense. Now I have to wait four years for the next <laughs> one. And so the next one comes out, which is the fucking Hive. And this is one is that a sequel? To yeah, it? it's oh, like, it's a sequel. Yeah, like it's all three like books that are all like gonna tell one story at like I guess different points in this kid's life like huh. some weird event has happened to him and this is kind of how he's like taking it i guess but like this one sucks man like like the like the dialogue like the, the main guy is like a complete pussy like and like i hate looking guy yeah like he's really like oh gee golly like and well, i'm sure charles is trying I just, to I think do it's that intentional. yeah it's very because all of his kind of early works have kind of done that too but it's just like it's kind of done too much like isn't like this, this like, one guy, really I just, 
But is it like this one guy? Like, is he like projecting himself into different comic book personas? Because I saw yeah. the Ten Ten style, and then like the well, Alex like, Toast style over here, or more serious style. Like, yeah, that shit. Yeah, like, well, like this part is like, and it's like reading reflects a how girl. He's feeling, maybe? I don't know. I have to read the damn book. But. Yeah, you gotta read the book. But like, he's like reading a girl. Like, there's some cool stuff. Like this part where he's like reading this girl, this um, this comic, and it like switches to like him. I guess he like cut out and like redid like a bunch of like old uh, love comics and he's kind of like spliced them together to form like some story so like that part's really cool like with the way he did that but just like this one doesn't really have anything to it like the first one did like first one had so many like cool fucked up parts and then this one's just kind of like a bunch of random shit like that doesn't really lead anywhere and so <laughs> like if that was like a normal thing like if this came out on a normal basis, like, that wouldn't be so bad. But, like, <laughs> I'm going to forget. I've already forgotten, like, what the fuck what happened? happened in this book. Gotta go back, man. Yeah, apparently. You gotta wait for the good stuff. It's like, um, what, Prison Pit or something. Yeah. You better, better deliver. I'll talk about Prison Pit some other time. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I really want to fucking read that. Um, but I also brought in uh, King of the Flies, a series by Mezzo Imperius put out by Fantagraphics. It is fucking awesome. Because it is just, like, it's done by, like, some guy... Who draws pretty much very similar to Charles Burns. Yeah, when I first saw that book coming in, I was like, is this Burns? Like, this new Burns book? Yeah, told me about that's it. why it's I bought it. Like, I bought it because <laughs> like, I thought it was this? Burns. <laughs> like, I was like, holy shit. And like the story is like really creepy and like told in like vignettes. And like each story is so fucking awesome. Like people <laughs> that die in this book, like they come back in the story as like ghosts and they're kind of like <laughs> fucking with the world. But they all hang out on Mars. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, like, it's weird. Like, they're, like, there's one part where this character goes to Mars after dying, and he's hanging out with, like, George Washington. Oh, like, really? <laughs> yeah, it's so fucking Damn. cool. They weren't kidding and goes to Mars. Yeah, man. Like, Dang. so, it's really weird. Like, the story is great. The story's about, like, this kid getting, like, he's, like, a fucking asshole. Like, he just fucks girls. Like, he just does drugs, doesn't care about, like, anything, and, like... He's just like this teenager. teenager. Yeah, he's like a typical teenager. But like, it's going through like he gets caught up in some shit, and like it's kind of like cycling through that, and like all these people kind of being around. It's kind of told like pulp, um, like pulp fiction kind of like where all these stories kind of inter, 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 inter yeah, intertwine, intermerge at uh, one given time. Yeah. So that's uh, King of the Flies Volume One and Two are out right now. Volume Three is up for pre-order on Fanographics.com. So we get that. When's that shit coming out? Uh, I think October. October. Okay, you have to wait that long. Yeah, I knew. It's I don't, I don't mind with this because it's awesome. Oh, it's a good oh, story. Okay, the fucking Charles Burns shit, man. Kill me. How long break was there between the two Burns books? The two Burns? Man, it was like four years. Are you serious? Yeah, I dude. thought you were just like exaggerating. No, man, I'm not even joking. It's pretty it's serious. Yeah, dude. Dude, draw slow. I love Charles Burns. Come on, man. Hey, man. Maybe you need to write him a letter or go talk to him. He lives pretty close to you. I'll talk to him. I'll be like, hey, you need to do some more shit. You get no, it. I'm just <laughs> But uh, I got this other book at uh, Locus Moon called Evil by Looks James Edward sick. Clark. It is fucking awesome. It's like done. It's like this weird story about this Mexican like wrestler. Uh, what uh, they Luchador. call him? Luchadors. Yeah. Luchador. Like in his kind of exploits through like Looks this weird sick. fucking world. <laughs> but like the colors are awesome. The artwork's kind of like uh, Coop and like Paul Pope a little bit. Like in Toth. Um, a little Toth in there. The Paris too. And like definitely the, Pope, yeah, yeah. Like you see, like the Pope, like all these like, crazy weird lines, um, and like the color styles, like pop art and shit, like really cool. Like it's like someone bleached shit. like four colors or something. Yeah, like it's like kind of how like how it's running a little bit, you know? Yeah, like he does like the offset, like because he's made it look like it's a really old comic, so it's really fucking cool. Like uh, I got this one at Locust Moon, but you, if you go to just Google his name, James Edward Clark. You can buy this for like five bucks. Is it just self-contained story? Yeah, it's self-contained. Like, there's an issue two coming out soon, but it is fucking awesome. Check it out. Looks pretty fucking good. Yeah. And my last book is a manga. Some manga. That I've been reading for a while. Some manga. Some manga. Some manga. <laughs> my dad used to say that. Like, like, Pokemon. What are you doing with all this fucking manga? Clean that shit up. What is all this Japanese robots oh, doing on the floor? It's a panimation. Get all clean up the panimation. Yeah. Get this shit out of VCR. Yeah. This whole book. All right. Uh, all right so this one's say? called 2001 Nights. It's by Yokonubo Hoshino. <laughs> it's like the craziest name to say. But it's awesome. It's really old. It's like done in like the 80s. 
the, the high times. The high times of fucking everything. Like, done around, like, Akira, because it looks very much like Katsuhiro Tomo's work. Mm-hmm. Like, the same kind of vein of big heads and, I don't know, Everyone's really got, tight, like, hyper weird, detail. faces or something. Yeah, everybody's screaming. <laughs> um, yeah, it is awesome. It's, it's like, it's like a, kind of like Optic Nerve, where it's just like a bunch of stories and one book that are all, like, hard sci-fi as fuck. Huh. Like, it is awesome. That's cool. I've never yeah. uh, actually read a kind of like Japanese... A, like a Japanese alternative? Kind of alternative. Like, um, well, it's it, like I don't say it's alternative, just like an anthology, like kind of oh. a bunch of short stories. I yeah. almost never read Japanese short stories. Yeah, me neither. Like, I don't know if, like, like we were talking about, like, Man the Old in Tokyo yeah. and stuff like that. I like, like that, because it's Or, like, Black Blizzard. And, like, yeah, it's short, yeah. like, depressing-ass stories, but it's, like, short, um, you know, sci-fi stories. Yeah. Like, that's what this is. Like, all short sci-fi stories, and some of them, like, inner, like, some of them kind of intertwine again, um, and some of them are just self-contained, but it's fucking awesome. There's, like, ten volumes of this. It's fucking great. Like, I mean, yeah. you this. I have, like, five. I got them for free. This guy was... It's pretty cool. This dude's definitely eighth in Star, or star Wars here. Yeah, it's, like, it's some crazy, thing. like, Star Wars Yeah, reference ain't a bad thing. Like, there's crazy, crazy like, spaceships. There's, like, some aliens. And, yeah. Uh, I definitely know the Japanese love some 80s sci-fi American yeah. shit. It's pretty serious. Dude, this guy was going to burn these. He was going to burn them? <laughs> he had like a whole box of manga that he was like, you can have these for free. What? And I got <laughs> like five of them. And like, he was like, yeah, I use them to burn fire for like the normal <laughs> fire. I was like, what the fuck? That guy's cool. I'm going to be him when I'm older. That guy's nasty. <laughs> <laughs> he only lets you take five at a time. So I was mad because there's another five in there. Really? Damn, like that's like you could have got the whole series. Yeah. You Fucking should have just turned around or something and pretend you're someone else. I was going to have Marine go back. <laughs> Yeah, that's yeah, like it's not too late. Movie. No, I used them like Alan Town. It was so long ago. I'll have to find them. Hey, Burns comic books for a living. Burns comic books. For a living. For a living. Ain't that some shit? Yeah, man. So, uh, what have you been up to lately? Uh, I finished my uh, comic nonsense. pitch packet. I finished that for uh, Arcade. We're going to be sending out this pitch packet me and a buddy Swifty Lang worked on. It's a cool story. I don't know if I'm allowed to say anything about it. I don't really it. say too much yeah. about it, honestly. He's all here and be like, what the fuck? What the fuck's wrong with you? Everyone's going to steal it now. I'm like, oh, no. No, I'm joking. He's <laughs> not. He's cool. But no. yeah, I finished that up. Um, got some more just art done, man. I've been pumping out Rumble Moon, my second I book that. coming out. Did you have like, a little thing going on with Rumble Moon coming up? Yeah, I got a Kickstarter coming up. I'm going to launch it next week to get 200 copies of that made and 200 copies of my first book. Dude, made. what's your uh, plan yeah. for it? Um, take it to Locust Moon and then uh, right try and just ape it out to as many comic shops as I can. Good yeah. shit, dude. Try and do it like once or twice a year. Are you going to like special edition it up or is this straight, yeah. read, straight read it or are you going to like uh, touch it up a little bit? Or I touched up, or um, I touched up the first one a little bit, cleaned it up a little bit more and like this one I was thinking about doing tones on it but I'm kind of running on a... Make it 3D. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's 4D. You, I can't as soon as you open it, you've already read it, man. It's so cool. Oh, okay. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's been it for me. Like, I kind of blew out my shoulder because I was like erasing and doing so much fucking inking this week, so it hurts. Yeah, dude, you're leaning on your good arm. Yeah, man. Or your bad one, I guess now. Yeah, I'm fucking. It's it's getting better though. You know? I'm masturbated you gotta, it out last time. it out. I don't think it's, I, I think that I actually do the opposite. Help me. Yeah, fire, 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 man. I don't yeah, know, man. You? I'm to control Metallica. <laughs> you know, uh, real quick on the arm thing. Uh, yeah. The guy who does Monster, I forget his fucking name. I'm terrible with oh, names. God, I'll name. have more notes next time. I swear. <laughs> Naomi something. Uh, it's like Ujomi. Uh, uh, he does monster. Monte- anyway, there's a YouTube video floating out there of uh, this guy. He actually did say he blew out his fucking shoulder or elbow or something. Like Jesus he tore his Christ. rotator cuff, some terrible injury related to drawing. I think he took a year off just to rehab or something. And he wears like a, all this crazy shit to do all that. Guys up to, like, he's working on that shit all the fucking time. All the time, man. It's like 300 like volumes of this. Hey man, they, that got, that, they got that crazy. yen. What's up? Yeah, that yen. I'm sure that, that yen. yen I'll take. The, I'll take that crazy ass schedule. Yeah, I guess it would drive me nuts. What if? Well, you have to write all that. Man. You're like, I don't know what the fucking write. Mm. No, uh, yeah. <laughs> you mean assistant? Yeah, true. Yeah, they do have like eight assistants. Yeah, man, it's not so bad. Yeah, fuck it, man. It's usually there's a different writer anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So it's not so bad. Mm. I want to do that one. Uh, me. Yeah, I'm just working on podcast it. shit and get ready for the next Antho, I suppose. Yeah, yeah. What was it? When are you fucking putting that out? Soon. God I learned damn. once Karen gets out from uh, OtakuCon. Oh, yeah, she yeah. went to OtakuCon. We, we should talk to her huh? when she gets back to the next episode. Oh, yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll talk to her. Hmm. We'll talk about Otakon. That's related to comics and stuff. Yeah, I don't know. The one time I went to Otakon, was fucking crazy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was going to tell another convention story today, but I guess I'll do the Otakon one. 
Like, there's plenty of, like, manga and stuff there, but not really. I felt like the main crux was, like, fucking cosplay. What? There was a video game thing. Uh, basically, I was hanging out with my brother and his friend at the time. Yeah. And uh, we got drunk as fuck in the bathroom. I don't think you can do this anymore, but the year I went, we got drunk as fuck in the bathroom. <laughs> what? We just brought a handle of, like, whatever the fuck, I don't know. Vodka you guys were just like hanging out in the bathroom? No, no, we were just going to the bathroom to get drunk, and then we were, like, uh, okay. walking around the floor. <laughs> <laughs> we just hanging the fucking out bathroom. The bathroom. <laughs> no. <laughs> that would be awesome. That would be cool, but I wasn't that smart yet, so. Yeah, Jeez. we were drunk as fuck. And then uh, they had this arcade room where we were hiding out in, or hiding out in for a yeah. little bit to get drunk and um while we were there like <laughs> we started we saw this one like random like nonsensical furry cosplay there what? and it was like a made up animal it was like a rainbow like tiger bear like unicorn thing I don't know what the fuck it was it was just some made up ass animal yeah. that's almost like a you know human size like furry <laughs> Oh my god! And but I saw they're playing turtles at the time. And we were drunk, so I was like, "Yo, we, there's there's four you turtles." Beat some ass. <laughs> yeah, and we all whooped some ass and beat, <laughs> we beat Shredder back in Dimension X. Damn! And made him fuck right off. <laughs> and that was uh, probably the best time I had at Attic Time. Is that much? Uh, there's not like like yeah, manga like boost. No, there's manga stuff. We looked at it, but like I was busy getting most of the swag. You know? yeah. At the comic convention, it's like how much free shit can I get? I gotta run around. Dude, I never get anything free. At a Dude, there's a ton of free shit at every convention. Really? What's wrong with you? Yeah, you just gotta know where to go. Yeah. There's free shit everywhere. It's not the Fanny Graphics booth, but there's free yeah, shit everywhere. Yeah, that's where I go. They're like, no, we don't no, take you're not having shit. shit. <laughs> we only Skin like money finger. here, sir. Nope. Um, but, uh, yeah, so there was also, uh, there's supposed to be a Bukaki panel, but it was really Bukaki? Special. They said it was Bukaki panel, and I'm like, oh, yeah, we gotta go to this shit. I'm like, I'll try anything once. Let's go. <laughs> I thought you messed up. Like, we might have to edit that. <laughs> No oh, man. Bukaki, like coming on someone's face, Bukaki. Yeah, you know what Bukaki is, right? Yeah, there's not like a manga called Bukaki. Like, they're giving <laughs> no. like a panel on. No, it just was like Bukaki movie night or something what? like that. I don't remember what it was called, but Bukaki was in the room title. Like, oh, all right, well, let's God. go. Like, Man. I got to see this. Like, did you go? Yeah, when uh, well, how me was and everyone. It? Well, it was bullshit. It wasn't Bukaki at all. Like, it was oh. uh, just watching like a softcore porn thing. It was like um, a hentai. No, nah, it wasn't even a hentai. It was like a live action like uh, Japanese film about. I, it's like I think it's Madam Snowbird Lady. I forget the name of the title. I'll what? think of it next week. Was there um, any Bukaki at least? Not that I saw. I kind of I didn't watch the whole movie. I was oh, sitting there because I was trying to air out. And I was fucking really messed up at that point. Because <laughs> I was late at night. And I was just getting fucked up at Otacon the whole time. So there you have it. When you but drink it wasn't, too it was just much movies. at Otacon, go watch a Bukaki <laughs> film to air out. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it oh helped. But God. then uh, you know what actually really sobered me up after that was the late night uh, like anime rave. Yeah. And it was the stinkiest shit I've ever been to in my life, dude. Oh. I can't describe the smell. Of like smelly fucking nerds. smelly all in like um like Jumping an assembly around. hall room like trying to dance or standing around oh. and shit. It fucking stank, dude. It was it's terrible. Dude, those kids that, that, that's because they're all like dressed up in costumes and shit it's and they're fucking yoga. And it's in the summer. <laughs> yeah, man, it's like It's in the dead ass of August. I give it I give it up to cosplayers, man. Like that's I give easy. it to you. That's not easy, like and that takes commitment, man. It but, really like, does. When I went to like New York Comic Con in Baltimore, uh-huh. it was so fucking hot. I was like, dude, <laughs> in the convention fuck center? this. Yeah, like in the fucking convention center. I was getting smacked in the face with like cloud Very hair. Cool. And cloud sword. Cloud in the gloves. What's his name from Final Fantasy VII? Feeding Fiends into Cloud Strife. Cloud, cloud Strife broadswords and shit. Smacking your dicks. Like. I was like, dude, fuck you guys. Like, <laughs> yeah. you guys are assholes. Like, why did you come to this thing dressed up? Cloud's not a comic book. It's bullshit. He's from a video game. <laughs> yeah, like, it's a video game, but why would you do it any. Like, like I Final just Fantasy VII is cool man. and stuff, but. Yo, man, just yeah. fucking wear Superman. <laughs> I love Sephiroth, but, like, I'm not gonna don on some hair and, and get a long-ass sword and walk around. Like, yeah, I mean, you know, it must be a bummer because the Sephiroth yeah. guys at the convention, they can never sheep their sword. They're always kind of like... You can't big-ass fucking can't, thing around. You can't fucking move your arm that far. Yeah. You look like idiots. You look like a fucking jackass. Yeah, damn fool. Yeah. I, I think uh, cosplay... I mean, cool. I dig the girls yeah. to do it. Like, the girl part is awesome. Like, Oh, my style. God, it's good. It's more again, like, sweet. Yeah. <laughs> Do you ever feel weird staring at them? Like, I think it's, like, what they want, but... Not really. I, I always feel so strange, because I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, damn, I'm poison ivy gun. But, like... <laughs> and then, like, she's, like, looking at you, and she's like, oh, you want to take a picture? I'm like, no, I'm going to put me in fucking trouble. Yeah, I'm just <laughs> like, 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 I'm like, yeah, that's what I wanted. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, 
no, no. take all the pictures. Yeah. Well, you would see that and would like never let me go to the <laughs> park. <laughs> and like spectacles and shit. Like, yeah, she goes to that all, these, all the time and she's completely like, fine. <laughs> yeah, she's like, I'm like, it's okay that I'm looking. She's like, I mean, you can't really help it, but there's like four power girls in front of you. And they're, like, <laughs> and they're all stacked. And it's like, God damn. damn. I wonder damn. what this guy is. Yeah, I'm like... I wonder if like I wonder if people I want to interview some of my buddies that like do these things like they're actually tabling Real there table and see if, like if how many cosplayers don't really stop called. by the booth that much oh how many cosplayers they yeah fought. like do you think like do you those say chicks, like comic book convention groupies yeah so like saying? it's probably happened they have to I mean dude some of those chicks that are dressed like that like I hope somebody's I love your books. web series or whatever yeah like well if you love that I love that but I need some artistic <laughs> inspiration yeah I want you to be my muse. <laughs> It's the oldest trick in the book. I uh, know. I wish I could. Eat. I met Maureen like right as I like took on art. So I'm like, I try to do it to Maureen, and she's like, "Fuck you, Derek!" Dude. Like, <laughs> I'm not gonna stand still for so you can draw my ass. <laughs> it's just like a big line. Like, yeah. it's like Derek. Why are the butt line so big? Like, what are you doing? Because <laughs> like, that's how I see you with the gigantic <laughs> ass. Her ass is awesome. We should probably talk about my girlfriend's. You know, it's being recorded, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Anyway. But yeah, I mean, we should take a tally on how many dudes have fucked a cosplayer. All right, we, yeah, we got a lot of polls going on here. It's we like got a lot polls. No, that's all good. Poll. I'll, I'll just ask him around or something. All right. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna do a personal poll. <laughs> yeah. Well, what else um, we got here? Let's see. Uh, I didn't really see any movies this week. Oh, Is there any shit coming out? You know what's um, up? I, well, I didn't see a movie. I watched King of the Hill. I finally finished. <laughs> just watch me. I've been watching King of the Hill. <laughs> I've been watching King of the Hill for like a year straight. What the fuck? Trying to finish this this series, and and it's it's once again like Bakuman. It started off so great, and then it just got so bad. Well, got had to finish it. Probably walked away from it. It's like, hey man, if you want to make King of the Hill, that's awesome. <laughs> Keep making King of the Hill. Yeah. I think, yeah, I think he, like, stopped writing it or something, because the writing it's so bad. You might like, want to check. Each episode is just so fucking bad. Really? Even yeah, Boomhauer can't funny. see it? Boomhauer doesn't... Boomhauer, like, stops talking, like, during... Like, after, like, Maybe they couldn't afford the voice actor. <laughs> it's Mike Judge! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he left. It's Mike Judge. He does his head sports. <laughs> and he left the show. Yeah, yeah he did Boomhauer, yeah. yeah. And I'm tired of dang old man. Tell you what, go down that dang old NRA's all right, man. <laughs> There's no like Boomhauer excerpts anymore. Like it's so fucking What's he doing? He just so, like, goes around and He just sits station. there and just says like, yo. What? <laughs> or he'll be like, oh man, I got dang old man. That. Man, dang. <laughs> just like, that's it. It's like mostly, it's, like Dale takes over a lot of the episodes. Hmm. And like, like Nancy eventually stops fucking John Redcorn, and I really, really wish they had just gotten caught. But like nobody, uh, he like never finds out. Really, still, they like, just keep the gag running or something, or like know. he must have some payoff, you know? Yeah, there was no payoff. That was, was, like, even like the last episode was just bad. It was just oh, you so finished bad. it? I finished it. Man. Damn, that was the last episode. It was fucking stupid. It wasn't even like a goodbye. It wasn't like it just ended. It, it just stopped. fucking ends. There's like the episode is about Khan not taking his medication, and he's like manic depressive. And then Hank, like, takes him off so he can, like, because they want to build this, like, special grill together. <laughs> yeah. Bobby, no. Oh, my God. It's so fucking dumb. It's oh, I'm sorry, dude. Yeah, I was really bummed. Well, I was thinking about um, stuff that was coming up. Oh, yeah, we got some good movies coming up. Well, I saw, like, what's the next most recent thing coming up? Uh, Kick-Ass 2. Kick-Ass right? 2, yes. Kick-Ass 2, which kind of just came out under the radar at first. I'm like, yeah. huh. They have another one a, a sequel to Kick Ass 2, and now it's like fucking Kick Ass 2 everywhere. Like, yeah. you can't go anywhere we're seeing out without seeing like a Kick Ass like, advertisement. That like fucking hit girl. No. Like, fucking How are you going to keep doing it? Because, like, like um, if they actually go through with it and follow the comic, be Kick Ass 1, 2. I mean, like, I don't know how many years we're doing. They're doing 3 now. They're actually 3. Like, yeah, 3 is going three on right now, now, which I think is the last one. But there's also, if they want to, there's a Hit Girl series they made. Yeah. Like, so they can make that Hit Girl stuff. But I mean, like they're gonna grow up eventually. It's some Harry Potter shit. I don't yeah. know what they're gonna do. She's already she already doesn't look like she's like twelve anymore. She looks like a like grown 12. ass yeah. woman now. <laughs> like, Damn. Hit girl button. She grew up, man. She grew the fuck up. No, I'm I'm pretty stoked about it. How are you feeling about Kick Ass? Um you know, I read parts of the comic, I didn't read the whole thing. I was yeah. reading it and I just kinda of stopped towards the end. Not for any particular reason, I think it was just like just it was sold out and I just couldn't do it and just kinda of lost track of it, you know. So yeah, 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 that shit happens sometimes. Yeah, I do that. 
Uh, the first one was awesome, man. You know, the, yeah. the movie I thought was pretty damn good. Like, yeah. it's pretty accurate to the comic book. Yeah, they added some stuff and obviously had to take out things. Some things know. here and there. Yeah. I love the casting. Nick Cage is Big Daddy. He's fucking Cage too good. Awesome is Big Daddy. <laughs> I was like, you should have got an Oscar for this. He really should have got an Oscar for when he was lit on fire and burned to death. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like the, oh. the comic that they just shoot him in the fucking Fuck, head. Shoot him in the fucking head. I was like, dead. damn! Do they cap him? Like, they're on fire then cap him? No, the they house? just cap him. Like... No, 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 I mean the movie. Oh, the movie? No, they just light his ass on fire, like, right next to Kick-Ass. And yeah. There's nothing kick That was pretty movie. good, actually. Now the more yeah. I think about it, like, yeah, the movie's good. I liked They're it. They're totalizing I, it. It's like, no more just fucking kick-ass people. Yeah. And now I guess it picks up after the first one. We much. got Jim Carrey in this one? Yeah, Jim Carrey was kind of left field. But, I, like, again, yeah. same thing with Nick Cage. Like, all right, he fits the part. Like, I'm sure he'll be good. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure it's, it's like, hopefully they can match with the last one. Dude. I mean, I, I like think it was, like, kind of, like, super bad with, like, costumes. Like... That's what it seems to be promoted as. Yeah. Hey, I'm all for it, man. I'm for that. Yeah. Kick-Ass being popular makes me feel good. Like, yeah, man. It brings people in, even if it's just... Even if it, Mark Miller yeah, sometimes does shitty things. But yeah. I think he's good overall, so... I like Mark makes Miller. Makes people... Right? Puts butts in the seats, if you will. Yeah, man. He, he does his part for, like, the comic world. Like, people yeah, just hate. That's what he do. Yeah, people are like, oh, Mark Miller. Yeah, just fucking shit on the street. He sucks. It's like, well, Mark that's Miller's the reason why all talks. the comic shops are definitely so still like, okay. Like, you know? Yeah, he did enough important shit here, like, eh, Ultimate's fucked up. Yeah. Like that and da, da, da. I like Civil War. Fucking thing. Like, you didn't like Civil War, did you? Um, you know, I did at first. It was yeah. cool at the time. I think I might have been taken away with the artwork. Yeah, Stephen. Yeah, that helps a lot. Yeah. Because Mark Miller is a smart man. He always gets the dopest artists yeah, on the books. He knows get a fucking he, He's got his, uh, his finger on the pulse. Yeah, dude. Wait, aren't you reading the Miller book right now? Oh, yeah, Jupiter's Legacy. Yeah, yeah. Jupiter's Legacy is fucking awesome. Like, I like it. I like, like it. I would tell, <laughs> like I tell people like that all the time. I'm like, damn, didn't you pick that shit up? Like, the story's really cool. Like, I like the writing a lot. Like, it starts off like the first issue's beautiful, man. It starts off like in like the depressive area, the like the depression era. Oh, Sorry. okay. It's like what's depression? So there's like these these guys are like, well, we want to help out society. We got to go to this island. And, like, they go find this island that this guy's been seeing in this dream. And it's so, like, Americana uh-huh. and, like, working man and, like, blue like collar. The, like the 60s dream. Or yeah, the 50s, like, American dream. dream. Like, the full first issue is, like, half of that is about that. And then it just goes into, like, the reality the shitty of future. Now. <laughs> And, like, they're, like, shitty <laughs> like, oh, grandkids. Fucked up. Fucked. Yeah, like, they're, like, they're all still around. Like, all the old superheroes are still around, but there's, like, no crime anymore, really. Like. Yeah, like, man, hey, if Superman was real, would you just like not doing a crime if you like? Fuck no, man. Superman's like a Superman. I would stay inside that's all that's the time. I would never. He could see, man. He's got extra vision. Yeah, he's fucking. He's like God, God on Earth. But Jupiter's Legacy is awesome. Go read it. It's go fucking it. good. I think the third one came out this week. I want to go buy it, and I can't. And I'm mad. You mad? I'm mad. I'll buy you a beer, but I won't buy you a comic book. Yeah, don't buy me a beer. Maybe I'll buy you a comic book. I'll go buy. Yeah, I'm not that poor. I got two. You got paid. I, I got, got paid. paid. I got paid. I did my dance last night too. Oh, did you? Yeah, <laughs> yeah man. Just throwing your money or no? I was throwing out a little bit of money. I was like, your, your digital bills. Yeah, I was. I was. I was clicking the, the refresh screen. button on PayPal yeah. the time. <laughs> just to make sure. Yeah. You're clicking about as many dollars you paid. Got paid. Yeah, yeah. I clicked it. I clicked it. I didn't want to say it. It's such a low. You're just like. Yeah, it'll make everybody like. This time the clicking noise is Derek refreshing his computer. Yeah. Not me clicking the pen. See if that money is still there. That bill money. I can't believe I was fucking a pen last night. Yeah, I didn't yeah. catch it. Yeah, like, that was Somebody tell me about that shit. <laughs> yeah, dude, somebody, like, nobody has said anything. Like, nobody, everybody's been like, yeah, it's cool. Like, you guys sound uncomfortable or whatever. I'm like, yeah, okay. I, don't know. I was like, did anybody notice, like, the clicking fucking sound? I was like, what the fuck was that? I thought the mic was blowing out at first. I'm like, is the mic popping? Like, what's going on? Yeah, like, I was like, why is the mic? I'm no AB head, but. And then I remember you're right. sitting there, like, jabbing your fucking phone <laughs> into a pen for, like, 15 minutes straight. And it didn't even bother me. Yeah, I was like, like, I didn't realize how much I was doing it. I'm like, what is that noise? I'm like, it's going fucking crazy right now. I'm like, what is wrong with you, man? Can't help it, man. Yeah, you fucking... That's why I dropped a pen this time. Yeah, I was like, as soon as guy, I was like, go put that pen in. Drop it. Put it all the way across the other side. You're banned. You were banned from the pen. Oh, well, mm-hmm. I think that's that. Yeah, yeah, that's it for that's now. Um, next week, um, I think we're going to have get, Eric Fritas and Eric Fritas and uh, I still think he said Fritas. I think I already made that joke last time, but you can make it to him. He'll laugh at it. He'll laugh at it. Yeah, right. he's, you love him. Man. Where's he from? He's he's out of New Jersey right now, and Yuli Dirty Jers. Dirty Jers. I think he's at Trenton actually. Dirty um, Trenton. Yeah, fucking oh god, Trenton. 
Um, and then uh, Ulysses Farinas. You know, oh, you're going to get both of pulls up here? Yeah, well, I'm going to call. Oh, okay. You better call Skype if they figure it out with, uh, over the podcast. <laughs> cool, yeah. Man. yeah, I was going like, to say. What the fuck you say? <laughs> they should just call. Should, yeah, you're right. Fuck that. What? I'm going to make them come down. Make them come I'm going to make them pay their own money to take a train down here to sit here for like, an, like 15 <laughs> minutes. If not, we can get other guests. No, we got more guests. <laughs> we can get more guests, Julie. Hey, man. No, um, <clears throat> yeah, we'll have them on. We'll talk about I think we should get uh, those guys. Those oh. underground dwellers down here. Up, yeah, up in here. Yeah, fucking Dan. Get, get the third musketeer up in here. Yeah, he's being a little uh, sour. Well, he's not being a sour. sour he's just really he needs to his bedtime and shit. Yeah, we'll have to feed him that five hour energy drink or something. We'll give him some coffee. He's uh, not. Yeah, he probably doesn't like coffee. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, actually, I don't think I've ever seen him. He likes tea. He's such he a somber caffeine. man. He's, he's very a, proper. Very proper, proper, calm guy. He's. Very interesting. Mm, he's a man of wits. Yeah. We should I'm trying to get his ass in here because he's fucking awesome and he can talk yep. about awesome comic books. He's a funny ass dude. And he's fucking funny. He he's knowledgeable. We need the old yeah. the old wise man. We need the wise man to talk about. He's not that old. I'm just fucking <laughs> mucking around. I was gonna say you guys think he's older. I think he's <laughs> He's not that old. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry, Dan, if you hear this. I hope he can. We yeah, love it, Dan. Dan. He won't be old. Maybe he, he won't. I mean, he goes to the library. If you listen to this at the library, Dan, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, bud. Because I know you can't listen to shit on your computer at home. Yeah, it's... But that's another story. We'll go into that when we actually get Dan here. Yeah, we'll, we'll have to put him on the spot. Uh-huh. Oh, don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I think yeah, we're good here. We're good. We're good. Right, we'll see you guys next time. week. Thanks for listening, everybody. Yeah. Uh, tune in next time. We we'll keep trying to do this weekly thing here. Yeah, man. Scudsinc.com. Scuds with Kinley. Do the plugs. And- We'll figure out what the nickname is later, but let's yeah. go with Brian Nokowski. Or, uh, with Band Band. I like Bandman. Tumblr, Band. man. Tumblr? Oh, Use Brian. Tumblr. Oh, okay, okay. You got My Tumblr, Tumblr is though? Brian Noken. So it's Brian. One, uh, it's all one word. Yeah. N-O. Ken. Like Ken from Street Fighter. Yes. Or Ken from Barbie. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to do that. I'll say Ken from Street Fighter. But uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Brian Noken. Check my Tumblr. Yeah. And go from there. Yeah. Sounds good. Any other cheap plugs you need to do? No, we gotta vote on this fucking name. Alright, post it now. Vote on the name. Right now. Yeah. Alright. Peace. Peace. <laughs>